welcome to another lecture of uh, what if series in this lecture we are going to understand what if DC supply is given to a transformer we all know that transformer is a device which can only work with AC supply here I have given a schematic diagram of a transformer where the source is drawn here is AC that is as usual but here we are replacing this AC source with a DC supply first we need to know how this E1 or primary induced EMF generates in the transformer from Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction we know induced EMF or E1 is equal to minus N1 d phi dt what is n1 it is number of primary turns phi is the flux generated at the primary winding we know mmf or magnetomotive force is equal to ni or number of turns into the current flowing through a particular coil here the current i1 is flowing through this n1 coil so the flux is generated we can say it as phi 1 through this coil and this flux is linking with the secondary through this path clear now whenever we are applying a DC supply like here so we know a DC source provides an almost constant input voltage or consequent input current if we are not considering the fluctuating DC so whenever the DC source is connected it is giving a current I1 which is a DC current and that I1 is creating the flux phi that is also DC in nature so whenever a flux is generated which is DC and we take this flux to this particular equation then derivative of d phi dt is equal to 0 why because derivative of a constant is always equal to 0 we know that so if the value of your induced emf is equal to 0 because if we put the d phi dt equal to 0 in this equation that gives e1 equal to 0 then there is no emf is induced in case of ac system the applied voltage v is ac so the current given by the supply voltage is also ac so the consequence flux it is also ac that means a flux which is fluctuating in nature that's why d phi dt value is never equal to 0 that's why we are getting the induced EMF E1 similarly if there is no induced EMF E1 in the primary then this flux phi is not capable of generating EMF at the secondary terminal also so if E2 is also 0 then this E2 can't generate any current that is I2 that is also equal to 0 if current I2 is equal to 0 then no current is flowing through this load that means the entire transformer can't function or remains in in operative mode we cannot run a load like our domestic loads or any heavy load whenever the secondary current is 0 and why the secondary current is zero because we have applied a DC supply in the primary so that we have found that due to not generation of induced EMF DC is not applicable for transformer operation this is our condition one now our condition number two from a very famous equation we know phi is equal to L i where phi is your flux L is the inductance 
of the coil and I is the current. Now if we perform derivative at the both side of this equation then we find E is equal to L DITT that means induced EMF is equal to inductance into rate of change of current. Now from this equation we have found L is inversely proportional with DITT that means inductance opposes rate of change of current. Now what does it mean? If this is a coil and we are applying a current to this coil which is DC in nature initially when there was no current is flowing or suppose a switch is there which was opened that means the initial current I is equal to zero suddenly we are applying a current a DC current and that tries to flow through this coil this coil has a particular inductance suppose L whatever we have learned here inductance opposes the rate of change of current so this particular inductance will try to oppose this I current through this coil so initially this coil will act as open circuit or it will not allow any kind of abrupt change of current through it but slowly the current will try to increase through this coil if we look at the graph of inductance charging or inductor charging then it will be like this it will initially increase and after some time the current will be constant or the inductor will be short circuited this is a very important things to be noticed whenever there is a short circuit or a high value is current flowing through this inductor then there is a much chance that the entire coil may burn out so if we apply a DC current to a transformer there is all probability that your coil winding may burn out so what the two conditions we have found that first is no EMF will be induced if we apply DC to a transformer and condition two is transformer coil may be burnt out for applying a DC. So our conclusion is we should never apply DC to a transformer. Thank you.